All right, guys, uh, the end of the day here, but before I go home, I wanted to make a quick video. I kind of want ideas from you guys. Here's what's happening. There are a lot of batteries that show up here at this point, and you know, I tend to concentrate on the larger lots and then figure out how to use them, figure out how to, you know, how to, yeah, how, what ways of finding new uses for them and all stuff, right? But then I, I kind of, there's then the, what happens is that all the little lots of batteries, uh, you know, single pallet kind of thing just stays there, you know? And then after a while, I'm like, oh, we have like 10 pallets worth of just small lots, right? And so this is where I'm at right now. I got to kind of look at some of those and then like list them on the website and then figure out what to do with them, right? And um, this one in particular, let me show you, this is a very interesting and uh, might be something that is, a, you know, be, a lot of you guys might find interesting. So here's what I am dealing with right now. We have about a pallet of these. These are, uh, well, these are lipos. This is our, you know, what the RC world has traditionally used. Look at these. 6.2 or 6,200 milliamp hours, 50C, 3.7, right? 22.94, so almost 23 one hours, right? So these are, you know, just traditional LiPo batteries. Uh, the challenge is here that we haven't really built anything with LiPo batteries, and we haven't really, I haven't really explored how to build packs with these, right? Um, and of course, oh, I'm always thinking of how to help people do this, DIY these, right? Because I don't want to get stuck here building batteries for people. So I just don't have the time to do it. But if I can teach you and I can help you build battery packs for you, then, you know, you, I empowered you to do the thing, right? So, so what's the problem with these? The problem is that these are 50 Cs and at 6.2 milliamp hours, that means that these will fully charge they'll do 300 amps. And so when you're building these, if you short these out, <laughs> it's a it's a bad news. This tab, if you tap this or you short out and connect this tab to this tab right here, 300 amps, <laughs> right? So, so it's very dangerous to make a mistake with these, right? Um, and so I'm like, how do we sell these? How do we make sure that people don't hurt themselves and don't destroy you know, property or whatever with these. Uh, and so what I'm doing right now is, let me show you here. Sorry about the mess. I have a lot of projects going on. Is I'm trying to design some kind of board, right? Because a lot of these pouch cells are built this way. I'm not, I'm not just crazy. I'm not like a, a crazy person that's got crazy ideas. These are, you know, we get them here and we see them. And so I'm like thinking, oh, okay, maybe this is how we do it. So this is what I've designed so quick, you know, so far. It's just quick. I just, you know, spent 20 minutes, 10 minutes or something designing this thing. And it's just a little board. Uh, I'm thinking of using these, our XT90 size holes. We can even solder big cables in here or maybe an XT90 connector in here and another one in here. And then that's like the, the, the positive and then this is the negative. So you use the entire uh, connector for uh, for one cable, right? So only positive, only negative. Not, you know, the, the one connector is one act is not gonna have positive and negative at the same time. I've seen other people do these with uh, pouch cells before. And so that's what I'm doing. So here, there, these are holes, you see them, right? There are holes on the board so that you can stick the tabs through, bend them over and then solder them, right? And so, uh this ones right here have extra exposed traces right here so that um oh oh apparently i have to go eat now um so anyways um so that you can bend the tabs so stick both tabs from the bolt cells stick it over bend it over cut it right so that it, it's in there and then solder into the board there right and then the same thing all the way. This one will do 7S, because 7S will make 24 volts. But of course, I don't know where you guys uh, would need these, right? I mean, probably RC. Well, why do you need 50C cells? I don't know. I can I can think of a million reasons or a million uh, projects that would want them, but I, I can't think of any specific things that you might need 
on a product like this so, so you can build your own pack. Now, first of all, with what uh, configuration would you want? This is 7S just because that makes 24 volts. But, you know, in RCs, they come in every configuration. They come in 3, uh, 2S, 3S, 4S, 5S, 6S, right? And then, of course, they go all the way to super high performance, uh, you know, 8S. Uh, I think that's as far as I've ever seen. Of course, you, you don't have to. You can keep going, you know, 10S, 12S, 14S, 15S. You know, if you want to build some crazy battery for some crazy uh thing right so let me know in the comments what it is that you would want in this board before we finish it and then send that off to be printed uh and then you know i'll pick the top you know three or something configurations order that you know finish building it and then we can order it and then we can offer it as uh whatever something already built and also the batteries you know or the the the, the boards by themselves and even the you know the gerber file so that you can just you know order this board and have it printed yourself and then you build the packs together right so uh this is it i'm just thinking about that i'm building this and i thought i wonder what my audience and you guys that are building batteries every day would want this thing to be so let me know in the comments below we'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, and by the way those those batteries uh the cells are already on the uh on the website so if you guys need them you can go pick them up there all right, small batch, so they're probably not going to last a long time. Hopefully, we can make this before those things sell out. But I don't think so. They haven't been moving that quick, so it's okay. Uh, see you guys in the next one video. We'll see you. Bye.